Hola mis amigos and welcome to a Betsy V Lifestyle and I'm back again with my Mommy Mondays. Today is just a quick quick uh, video because I've been wanting to discuss this for weeks because I think it's very important so I wanted to share with you just some of my tips and that is to not record when you have a child around. I have a daily vlog channel and I share everything on there. And what's very important to me is education, teaching my child English, Spanish, colors, numbers, her ABCs, songs, pronunciation of letters, and so on and so on and so on. I just want to show you some of the things that I've been doing with her that I think would be great for you to share with your child. If you go to Target, you guys know that there's a section that's like 99 cents or lower, like a dollar uh, aisle or something like that. Super great. It's always packed and I love it. You can always find great things. And I didn't know until my sister-in-law actually told me that they have workbooks for children. So I went in there and picked up a whole bunch of crap. <laughs> I picked up all of these workbooks and they were a dollar. This one's like kindergarten two. This one's kindergarten... <laughs> Kindergarten 1, Preschool 2, Preschool 1. They're not going to do it all at once. <coughs> he literally does maybe like a page or two. Sometimes she'll do another page. You know, it's not easy for them to sit down. So I love that Crayola actually came out with these books. They're really, really great. Different levels. And I would actually suggest doing it with a pencil. Uh, we were doing crayon, but with a pencil what you can do is always erase it and then have them do it over again If you have another child they could do it as well after your child uses it if you know what I mean <laughs> Teach you the colors, tracing, print your name, your last name, your middle name um, Circle the smallest flower, the biggest crown, draw whiskers on the cat Circle all things that are yellow, draw pictures on the pages Like it's just, I, I love it, I love it, I love it Definitely, definitely love these Crayola books and they're super affordable. A dollar, hello. Also found these Leapfrog mat squares. I don't know what you would really call them. I use them as a kitchen mat or well, dinner mat, plate mat, plate mat, mat, place, place. Spin the arrow above. What shape did it land on? Help Lily find an object with the same shape. So if she lands on a triangle, what around the circle is a triangle? So it helps them with their shapes. Same thing here with their colors. The back, it has more fun. Color the correct number of shapes. Four circles, six triangles, two squares. You got it. Um, write the answers on the lines. How many orange leaves do you see? And then here is draw a picture using only circles, squares, triangles, and stars. Look at the shapes and circle the correct answers. It has a bunch of activities on this. I love it. Of course, you'd have to use a, what is a marker that you could, a dry eraser marker, right? And you could, Keep using it over and over again. This one as well is the same thing, but it has to do with lowercase letters, uppercase letters, and then the back tracing letters. This is fun. This is actually magnets with the alphabet and numbers. It has F for frog, N for notebook, seven and six, and so on and so on. You get it. So it's fun little activity for them to play. <laughs> on the refrigerator. I kind of also been doing little by little is not having the whole alphabet there, at least doing five letters at a time so she knows at least the first five which go in order and then once she gets that I'll add another letter, another letter, and another letter. Also I got this plain little Dr. Seuss whiteboard to practice because I would be drawing small circle, big circle, and just showing her what a small circle is, a big circle is, a medium sized circle is. Even when we go out walking, I'm like, is that a small dog or a big dog? To show her what the difference is and she's really been getting it. So I think just seeing examples every day, every chance that you get also helps them in their learning process. Target, again, also had some great flashcards. These are flashcards with numbers and these are flashcards with shapes, which is for me right now, it was kind of worthless because she already kind of knows all the shapes and it has all the colors as well. So she aced this. It's also another one. It was 
um, forgot which card game it was, but it was a game, and we, we incorporated it into family game night, which was super fun for her. So these could also be fun. If you don't have a Target, you can also go to the Dollar General, Dollar Store, wherever, and get more workbooks. Her grandmother actually got her these books, which is awesome. Well, this is a coloring book. <laughs> but these are, again, colors and numbers. And this one's awesome because at the bottom, it has a lot of colors. And Elmo and the balloons have numbers on them. So number one is red. So you, everything that's number one, you have to color red, which is fun <laughs> for them to learn instructions and follow directions. And this alphabet workbook is basically the same thing, chasing letters. The uppercase, the lowercase, so the pictures that begin with the letter H, which is fun, and so on and so forth. I also did a video for this a few months back, maybe a month, a month and a half back, and it is the school zone. I absolutely love the school zone. I think it's great. Uh, now that I've been doing another program, I kind of see what it doesn't have. Although it has different levels, it's very easy for them to quit. They go into another program and play that game. So it has its positives and negatives, as I think anything would. But I still highly recommend the school zone. I think it's still a great application. And just in case you're interested in seeing my review on it, I'll leave the link down below and also on up here somewhere. <laughs> so I told you I've been using something else. And if you watch our daily vlog channel, you definitely know what that is. And that is... commercial over and over and over again ABC Mouse, ABC Mouse.com, ABC Mouse. I'm like okay this is probably the dumbest thing ever until I saw other mothers using it at the library and actually another friend of mine she was using it and her son is I want to say like six months younger than Ziana. He knows how to read, pronounce letters, everything. I'm like how did you do it? She's like ABC no. So I just knew from that day on I had to try it and I love, love, love it. The workbooks, the school zone, I couldn't even teach her a lot of the things that ABC Mouse taught her. The first month is free. This is not a paid advertisement because it's going to sound like an advertisement right now. But it is a first month free. After that, it's only $7.95 a month. It has different levels. It's fun. She gets prizes every time she finishes a level. Uh, it gives her songs reads books to her, makes her pronounce letters, have, has her choose which letter is E, which animal is which, and big and small. Like, I love it. And to show you what she's learned, I'm going to call her over. Say, hola, amigos. Hi, amigos. <laughs> All right, so what did you learn on ABC Mouse? What sound does A make? Ah. Ah. What sound does B make? B. Look up. What, what sound does C make? Yeah. What sound does D make? Yeah. What sound does E make? Yeah. Good job! Who taught you that? E. Yeah. Who taught you that? ABC Mouse? She loves this thing. I also suggest, can, can we, okay, I guess we can't wait a second. You see I'm using my cell phone. I, we don't have an iPad, so it kind of stinks because if I get a text message or an email or a phone call, I have to start that level, not the level, but that segment of the level all over again. So that's kind of annoying. Um, I would suggest an iPad, to do it on an iPad if you can. We tried doing it on a computer. She does not know how to control the mouse, so that was even more difficult. So I'm like, my phone is just like the best thing right now since we don't have an iPad. She's repeating it. Well, she tries to repeat it. 
Anyway, guys, so if you have any other suggestions you'd like to let me know, I'm always open to learn new tricks and applications and programs and whatever else is out there. Let me know in the comments below. I'm always willing to listen. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe for more weekly awesomeness. And also check out my daily vlog channel where you'll see how we live every day. All the excitement in our daily lives at That's Beth TV. And until next time, we shall see you. Adios!